Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming and welcome back to another video. And this just happens to be the Q&A face cam video. And I will be answering the questions you guys ask. There weren't a lot of questions, but that's okay. Um, and we'll go with what we have and then we'll talk about other stuff along the way too. And uh, this is probably the first face cam video I've done in a long time besides the one that I did record that didn't work because the audio got messed up. That's a whole nother story. Um, and if you guys really like the face cam, we'll see if I can bring it back on a regular basis. But I can't promise anything. Unless you guys are super awesome and this video gets like 10,000 views, then I'll be like, okay, I'll do face cam. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And so in the second episode of this series, and uh, this is really loud in my headphones. Let me just turn it down there a little bit. Um, the second episode of this series, I asked you guys um, questions for a Q&A video. Because in the last uh, Minecraft 1.7 and Minecraft 1.6 series, I did a good amount of Q&As. Um, and as you can see, I found some uh, diamond stuff. I have a little bit of organization as well. And um, I like doing Q&As because it's a way for the viewers to get to know me and just in interact a little bit more. And so I need to make a pick too. Um, I'm sticking with some iron picks right now uh, just because I don't want to use up my diamond pick uh, until I get a lot more diamonds. I know I could make some more, but I could also make a sword. But I really don't want to make that stuff until I have enough like enchanting in books to actually enchant stuff. And so that's a process. Um, oh, give me that glass. And so for now, uh, we're just going to do this. We're just going to stick with iron tools and we're going to enchant them. And so, yeah, what was I saying about the uh, Q&As? Yeah, I did them. And so let's go over um, and talk about some of the questions. First question is from Michelle Palmer, who is a frequent viewer and commenter. It says, where do you work? And then she said that the question of the day for that day was my favorite edition or was about Minecraft 1.8 editions. She said her favorite edition in 1.8 was the water temples. They can make an epic underwater base. And she also loved the sponges. And I agree, the sponges are a good addition to the game. Very good addition to the game. Okay, let's see. Efficiency. Um, you know what? We have 19 levels. Let's make another one. Maybe we could combine some. Maybe, please. That'd be nice. Make ourselves a nice little iron pick. I mean, I know I'm technically using a... I mean, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. We do what we want around here. Okay. That doesn't go there. Fidget C1. Fidget C1. 1-1. One, one. I'm breaking. Fidget C1. Oh, thank you. And so, uh, the question though. <clears throat> where do you work? I work... At MDL Manufacturing, it is a, not really small, but it is a local, clink, 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 uh, manufacturing place where we manufacture a lot of metal products. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, what all you want me to go in detail, but they do some work for the government, some private work for certain companies. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff. They have lasers uh, and huge CNC machines that can like cut things and make all kinds of fancy stuff. And if I had my keys, I'd show you one of the keychains that they've done before. But if you go to mdlmanufacturing.com, I kind of updated the website. I The website was there, but I recoded it from scratch to make it look to the design it was before. That way I could edit it because before it was a mess. Um, I didn't know who did it. They might have known what they were doing, um, but I don't know what they were doing <laughs> with all the templates and stuff that they had. And so, ooh, yes. Oh, that's eight. Hmm. Should I go for... Hmm. Two and two would be four. Put them together. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with uh, these here. The cheaper one. Because I think it might be cheaper to do it the other way later. Okay. I have no idea. But yeah, um, I'm, jo I'm enjoying it. Uh, I originally went on for like marketing and a design and stuff. And like for making the videos. Uh, but recently, uh, we've done a lot more cool stuff. Um, not that the other stuff I wasn't doing was cool, but I've gotten to help with some designing for the laser programs because I have Adobe Illustrator there and it's part of the creative cloud. And what else did I want to make? I think I wanted to get one with unbreaking, I think, and then combine it with that. One more. I want unbreaking on it, please. Please. Oh, requires eight for unbreaking two. Uh, no, I don't want that. And so to get rid of enchantments and to get something else, you have to enchant something else completely different. Oh, there's that depth strider thing. 
that makes you run faster in the water. Man, all these good enchantments. Whatever. Yep, I'll take it. So I have one level. How much would it be to combine these? Wait, what? Wow, I got efficiency with that. That's actually pretty good. Um, it'd be six to combine them. Eight that way. Um, that actually had efficiency one with the unbreaking. Hmm. I think I might use this for a while. And put this in here. And I'll come back. Once I have some more levels, I can do some more stuff. I can probably smelt some things here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like, let's smelt a, sack, a, a stack. Uh, a stack of sand. Can I speak? Yes. Um, and cook some raw chicken. Anything else that needs cooked? Nope. Okay. Do we have reeds? Yes, we do. We need to plant some reeds. We need to get some water buckets going. Do we have any? Yes, we have a bucket. We don't have any. Hmm. <laughs> Where do we want to... I think we need to make our farms, like, out and around, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure. As you can see, I've dug a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much don't have anything else to say about uh, my workplace. Just visit the website, mdlmanufacturing.com, if you want to check it out some more. Um, Battle Triumph asks, do you make your own thumbnails and banner art? Do you use Photoshop? If so, could you make a tutorial for one someday? Yes, I do make my own thumbnails, and I have made my own. I didn't make the banner for this channel. Um, Kestel Caden actually made that banner for me a, a while back and actually needs updated. But I made my one over on youtube.com forward slash tgamingtech. I made that one myself. Um, but I do use Photoshop. This is a dead end down here. Um, actually, I think maybe I put the reed farm down here for now. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> I This is a work in progress. I might put the farms down here. I have no idea yet. Um, that way, at least everything will be in one area. But... Um, Kestel Caden made the one for this channel, but I do use Photoshop and I've thought about making tutorials for Photoshop. I don't consider myself like really, really good at Photoshop, but I consider myself maybe like intermediate. Um, I don't know all the tips and tricks and everything that's hidden in it, but I do know how it works. And is this the side of the mountain? I need to make a shovel. I'm all out of tools. Okay. Maybe I can enchant my shovel with a one level enchantment. Oh, I didn't put my boots on. Put on the boots. I should have enchanted my shovel instead of the boots. No, I want a level one enchantment. Don't you see? Dang it. Oh, well. Not a big deal. It really doesn't affect the shovel that much. But I might make a tutorial over on my T Game and Tech channel. Yep, it's the side of the mountain. I could put glass in here. I plan to use glass whenever I actually dig out part of the mountain. And so glass would be right here. So let's just put it in here. Um, <clears throat> I pretty much want to keep the same form of the mountain here. And so we'll see how this goes. But yeah, if I do a tutorial, it'll be over on T Game and Tech. And so let's put this dirt here. And we'll put the glass. We'll just do a little, little farm for us so far. Nope. Bam. Um, I think I'm going to put the water, give myself a little bit of room here. Um, where do I want the, no, I'm not doing it right. I do, or am I? Either way, it doesn't matter because I need to dig it all up anyways to put dirt down. Um, but Photoshop, you know, I used to use GIMP, and so if you use GIMP before, um, learning Photoshop isn't that hard. There are some similarities, but there are some differences. And uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for a tutorial, if you really want one, uh, maybe I can do a few over on my channel. And Kenneth Musgrave, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Um, I'm not the best with names. He's, uh, I really like how the doors are finally stackable. Yes, that is awesome. And the new slime block is pretty cool too. And my first, and my question is, where did you go to college? Um, I went to college at Geneva College in Beaver Falls. It is a small private Christian college. Um, and I need some torches. And I really enjoyed my time there. A lot of people, you know, bash Geneva for certain things or another. And, you know, I don't agree with a lot of things they did. They made some controversial the controversial decisions as of late and cutting staff and you know what to cut what not to cut where to spend money and you know i didn't always agree but um despite 
not always being happy with the institution and how it was ran. And nobody is. Nobody's ever happy. And everybody, like, you know, everybody knows how to do it better than the people who are running it. And so uh, would I do it over again? I would because I met a lot of awesome people. I met a lot of friends, a lot of them, which went to my wedding um, and were involved with my wedding. And I wouldn't have traded it for any other experience. And so I'm really glad that I went there. Uh, my community or my major was uh, communications with integrated media, which is audio and video. And so doing YouTube and even my job at MDL, I do use um, Adobe Premiere and Photoshop a lot. And so photos and stuff and web design were also part of my classes, but it wasn't like a main staple of my classes. And so... Um, Greg Stubber, St Stubberfield, Stubblefield said, my, ba my favorite thing is the new doors and how they are stackable. Also, my question is, what is your favorite Nintendo game? Um, hmm. That's not a really an easy one for me. Um, get over here. My favorite franchise is Legend of Zelda, for sure, hands down. Followed by, like, Smash Brothers, because you just gotta love Smash Brothers. I mean, who doesn't? Um, let me just, like, be... A little bit paranoid and check. Yeah, we're recording still on our face. <laughs> Making sure face game was still working. Um, <clears throat> how do I want to do this? I, I, want, I want to make this glass, but I kind of want to make it like somewhat even. Um, Legend of Zelda is my favorite series uh, in terms of a video game series. And my favorite game? It's hard. I My gut is to say... Ocarina of Time, but I feel like everybody says Ocarina of Time is their favorite Zelda game. Um, but it's a really good Zelda game. It's the first one I remember playing um, as a kid. And so, you know, a little bit of nostalgia comes into play whenever pick, as for picking it for my favorite game. But uh, I don't know. I really enjoyed Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. I thought that was a great game. It was a great sequel to A Link to the Past, which is another great game on the Super Nintendo. Um, it's also available in the eShop if you don't have a Super Nintendo. And so let's let's go another layer higher here. Let's uh, let's do three high. We'll see what three high looks like. One, two, three. Am I doing this right? Yeah. Let's get one out here. Here we go. Um, but I really like Smash Brothers. That's another one of my favorite games. Mario Kart is awesome. Um, Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS is coming out in like two weeks. I got the 3DS demo. It's awesome. Even with only a couple characters, I think it's great. Looks great. Um, and for the 3DS, I think it looks great. And I think it plays pretty well, um, considering that, you know, it's on the 3DS. And it looks pretty well, I mean. Or pretty good, not pretty well. Um, let's Let's do this. And let's do a little bit of terraforming here. And hop. Uh, let's put this he no here. There we go. Um, I might redo this so it's not dirt on the inside. I might just put stone or whatever material. I'm not going to leave this as stone. I'll probably replace it with some other kind of stone. Maybe andesite, which I really like. Because um, it's just such a smooth texture, and I really like that texture. Uh, do we? Ha I have some. Uh, I like andesite when it looks like this. It looks awesome. Did I just get more than what I put in? One, two, three, four. No, that was weird. I didn't think I grabbed sixty-four, but I guess I did. I don't know. But it's a very nice texture, and I really like it. It's like smooth stone. It's just a little bit of a blue tin on it. And a little bit of, like, brownish. Uh, very earthy. I like it. Uh, but what else? So, yeah, favorite Nintendo game. I guess I'm going to have to say Ocarina of Time. Link Between Worlds is really close. Um, I like Skyward Sword, too. But not nothing yet. And let's see. Let's see if there's any more questions. Um, the Disgraced Vagabond says, I have one question. Will you continue Starbound? Uh, honestly... Probably not. Um, there just wasn't enough interest expressed on the channel. 
And uh, every now and then, you know, I record a series just because it's fun. And Starbound was fun, but it wasn't done. It wasn't finished. And I think it suffered for what uh, I made a video about this over on T Game and Tech. It suffered from being available too early and being too good too early because a lot of people played the beta and they were done. They're just like, okay, you know, I've played Starbound, nothing else to see really. Um, and that's unfortunate that that happened. But I think that's what happens when these indie developers release their games too early. Their games peak on YouTube and just in general too early and then, you know, nobody plays them anymore even when they, even they got officially released. And it's still not officially released, I don't think. It's still in beta. But probably not going to continue Starbound unless it gets super popular again. Um, Yuki39 M Yuki39 Miku. Yeah, can I say that? If I'm not mistaken, you had something in voice acting, right? If so, could you try to make different ones? I really like voices. Um, yes. I took voice acting classes. And it wasn't like I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be like doing character voices a lot and like that kind of thing. But it was more of a... You know, radio broad... I hear something. Was that a pig? Radio acting, voice acting, if that makes sense. Like, on commercials and stuff like that. But it was still fun. Um, I did some promos for my final project. I love how this just wraps around and through here. We, we found an awesome place. You guys were completely right in saying that I should build here. Because I can put all kinds of stuff up through here. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I guess I can do voices. Uh, I kind of stuffed right now, so nothing ever really sounds as good as you know it could. But uh, what was that? I've done the Hey Arnold voice recently in a vlog. Um, not from Hey, not actually Hey Arnold, but the guy Oscar from Hey Arnold. Um, he's kind of whiny. He's like, Oh Arnold, Hey oh, Arnold, Oh, and I can't even think of the words he says. Arnold, could you lend me three dollars, Arnold, please? I I try so hard to pay the rent, Arnold. And he talks just like that. Um, and Summer can think I do it pretty good. And also, uh, you know, of course, Nigel from the Nigel Thorn Boys. Hello, I'm Nigel Thorn, buddy. Um, I'm stuffed up, so it doesn't sound as good as it could. And plus, I found that if I listen to a voice, like, a long time, like, I used to be able to do a perfect Australian accent. But now, not nearly so much, because I, I watched a lot of Crocodile Hunter. Um, may he rest in peace. I was very upset with the day I found out he died. Um... Oh, yeah, I like this. I'm going to use this for show. Um, <clears throat> yes. And, uh, you know, I I don't want to make any more voices because I feel like I sound like an idiot because I'm stuffy and I just don't sound good. But, you know, I've done Mario voices before. It's a me, Mario. And even a little bit of Luigi. Um, he's a little more nasally. Mario! And so, I mean, I don't think it's that hard, but I, I guess some people think... Voice acting is a little bit harder, but I have a very wide vocal range, um, very deep to very high, and so I could be very high pitched if I wanted to. Um, and so, yeah, it's fun to do voices every now and then, but oh, yes, it's looking fresh in here. Right, see, my voice cracked right there. And oh man, I'm going to the doctor actually on Tuesday to see, you know, what's the deal with this like stuffiness and like losing my voice, and, like not losing my voice, but it gets very scratchy after I record for a while, especially at night. But uh, going to the doctor on Tuesday to see what in the world is up. And so, yeah, um, let me check. What's our time? Uh, we're at 19 minutes. Do we have any more? Let me double check to see if there's any more. I don't see any more comments or any more questions. <laughs> Stupid sniffles. So I don't think there are any more questions. Um, if you guys have other questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer them. And I do have some stone smelted up here. Very good. Very good. Let's go, uh, let's go look at this, like, right here from, like, over there. I need to dig out a way. Let's check down here first. I feel like this is growing really slow. Does it need full water sources? No, because it planted. Nah, I don't know. It has space to grow. One, two, three. Weird. I actually found one that was four high when I was exploring. Very weird. Uh, what's the best way to get over? Let's actually let's go down through here. And this actually connects very well. This connects down to the plains area you saw down there, and we'll uh, take a look to see how it looks. Oh, this is gonna be. Once we're done with this, 
It's gonna look awesome. How about it, pig? Yeah, get out of here. Thank you for your pork chops and your XP. Uh, still not sure what I want to put down here. Um, I don't know. This is kind of going to be like the exit in the entry, I think. Uh, right through here, this little pathway. Um, and I might keep the ladder there, or I might actually put it inside the mountain. Uh, maybe a water elevator or some kind of other elevator, piston elevator. That would be really fancy. But let's continue over here. And if you can tell, my voice is starting to get a little bit scratchy. It's really annoying, especially when you're a YouTuber and you make videos a lot. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I might eventually replace the dirt and put in something like stone, but I don't know for sure yet. There are pigs everywhere around here. Everywhere. And an enderman. <clears throat> but this is our area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even right there, I had to take a break because I was coughing. I just start to cough. It's really weird and it's really annoying. And I wasn't crying. I was coughing in case my eyes are red. Um, you can also go down through here. This was like the perfectly generated train for a base, a mountain base. Perfect. And so before I cough and hack and crack my voice even more, I think I'm going to end the episode. Um, we didn't get too much building done. We did a little bit of enchanting, a little bit of building, a little bit of a lot of talking. Um... <clears throat> Next episode, uh, I'll try to have a little bit more stuff built, a little more stuff prepared to actually build, and we'll have a little bit more of a buildy episode, because we haven't had one of those yet. A lot of exploring, caving, and talking so far. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the Q&A. Let me know what you think about Facecam. If you'd like to see more of it, we'll see if we can make that happen. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me either here on the channel or over on Twitter. And make sure you visit my Patreon page. It is now live. The video is over there as well, explaining some of the rewards and the perks of being a patron. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I really don't have to do this because I'm looking at you in the camera. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.